This jazzy minor blues solo, classic blues in B flat pentatonic minor. The first lick, that's right from that pentatonic first position. Second lick. So, red lights need to start going off flashing your head. Why? Because remember I'm a big proponent of trying to look for things that are the same so you don't have to like think of everything as brand new. Well, look at the pickup. The, you, you hear the drummer go one, two, three, four, five, six, and you heard me come in on beat four. So it goes one, two, three, ya da da dee. One, two, three, four, and I go four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, and then. So what's the same? This is the same. That's exactly the same. And then the first time you go, the second time it's. Now that bend is not easy. But the way you can do it is, use your pinky finger here and use these three fingers to help push up the string. Okay, and I'm grabbing that bend right there. You can see the crease in my finger still. I'm grabbing it right there. Okay, and then that comes back again. So that little lick, that comes back three times within the very first couple of things there. And then, and with that, I would go maybe up on the first one and then pull down to make that half string on half bend on that on this string and then pull down pull down and then you have this and that comes from the second position so here's the first position second position that's right from that second position, uh, three string box position there. Okay, and well, let's see, you have, let's see, and then you have, see those little dots there? That's a staccato, short, instead of this. It's a little bit different, subtle difference. This is without the dots, without the staccato. This would be with staccato. Okay, and then you have, and that's just a half bend there. And I'm just grabbing it ever so slightly. And then, this is hard. Because what you have to do is you grab this note, I'm in measure 15, by the way. And and what I'm doing is I'm I'm really making that bend down here a little bit harder to do. But again, I'm using these two fingers to help me push up the string. That's so crucial. If you try to do this, string bends are so hard. But if you use them like this and just use your the power and strength of all of these fingers then you can do it. Okay, now for measure, oh, and by the way, this is all from that second position there. That's that second position, okay. We have, uh, so we, the first time it's slide. The second time it's hammer on. So, let me explain. I'm in measure 13, it's a slide, right? In measure 13, 14, 15, it's a hammer-on. And then you have... Now, this is a pretty interesting note. It could easily be 15, but I'm using it it's a half step away from this. It could have been 13, it could have been 15, 
but I chose 14 just to kind of tweak your ear a little bit. So it's there in the neighborhood, but it's not exactly in that, in the key. But uh, you have this. And you're gonna get that by, and then you gotta stretch down to grab this note, and then do a bend up, and then come back down to the D, and then, That comes right from the fourth, fourth um, position of that B flat pentatonic minor, okay? And then we have at the very end. And you can go just as it's written, or you could do with that little hammer on there like I did.